We're only one day from election day, and if you haven't voted yet, tomorrow is your day. There are three things you need to keep in mind if you plan on voting in person tomorrow. Number one, check your registration. Even if you think you're registered to vote, even if you recently registered, please take a couple of minutes to check and make sure your registration is current and that there's nothing you need to do to make sure that when you show up at the polls, you won't be listed in the poll books. Number two, find out your exact polling location. Okay, I know what you're saying. You know where to vote because you've always voted in the same place, but polling locations change. Even between the primary and the general election, polling locations change. So please, before you head out and wind up going to one place and then another, and then maybe giving up or showing up in the wrong place, check your polling location. And then finally, make sure you have all of the information you need. Are you in a state that requires some type of ID to vote? If so, make sure you have it. Are you in a state where you are afraid that there are gonna be long lines? Make sure you have water or something to eat so that when you're in line, you're able to remain comfortable. And of course, make sure you have protective equipment with you. Make sure you have a mask, make sure you have sanitizer, whatever it is you're gonna to need to make sure that you feel comfortable waiting in a line, hopefully not too long a line, but also completing the voting process in person. Also, when you get there, know your rights. You have a right if you're in line at the end of the day to cast a regular ballot. So if you're there before the polls close, make sure that you get a regular ballot and not a provisional ballot. You have a right to vote without fear of intimidation or anyone getting in your way. If anyone tries to tell you to get out of line or to not bother voting, just ignore them. If anyone tries to dissuade you or tries to take an action that you think is trying to prevent you from voting, let the election officials know. Listen to the election officials. Don't listen to what other people tell you. Don't listen to what someone outside the polls tells you. Make sure you're getting uh, accurate information. Know that you have a right to a replacement ballot. If you get in the voting booth and you freeze and you just, you mark it wrong or you're nervous and you, you, you miss the box, just ask them for a new ballot. They'll give you one and uh, you'll be able to fill that ballot out before you leave. Make sure you get an I Voted sticker on the way out and let everyone know that you did your part to make our democracy strong. If you have any questions or if you want more information, go to democracydocket.com. We've provided a lot of information over the last few months about voting and all of that's still available there. We're gonna to continue to provide more information and updates. So it's a really good resource for you. Thank you for voting and thank you for participating and let's just go out and vote.